What's going on guys, Promaker Dev here, and in this video I'm going to show you the top 10 CSS tricks that I'm pretty sure the majority of you don't know about. Now I know, I know there might be some people out there saying, what are you talking about? So you already know everything about CSS. Well, I know you guys are professional already, but if you don't, then stick around. All right, before we start, I just wanted to give you a little preview on what those tricks are going to be about. Um, so this is the first trick. All right. So look at this. This is actually a div right here. Um, its background color is is red. And whenever we click on that checkbox in the top of it, it will actually change its background. And we just used the click event. But here's the trick. We are not going to be using any JavaScript or SAS, nothing, no variables. It's going to be pure CSS. Moving on to the next trick. And the next trick is actually going to be this wavy background, this very cool wavy background. Um, and this is also going to be pure CSS. Every trick that we're going to go through is going to be pure CSS. All right. So there's nothing to worry about. Um, <clears throat> and this is the last trick. So when we scroll down, we uh, see this button right here. We click on it and it will just take us to the first section with this very cool, smooth um, scroll animation. All right. So this is also going to be with pure CSS. All right. So to the top and it'll just take us to wherever we want. Not necessarily the first section though. The next uh, trick is um, this. Now this is actually all about this horizontal scroll. So say you were working on a project and then when you're done with the whole project, you kind of notice this very annoying um, horizontal scroll that and that's basically because of a bug or an extra space. And, the, you know, the code might be a little messed up or kind of complicated. You can get rid of this with only one single line. Now, there are a lot of them. Um, there are a lot of tricks that we're going to go through, but I'm not going to show you all of them. Um, this is just like the first four tricks. So stay tuned. Okay. This is going to be really, really cool. Also, this is actually my first video on YouTube. I really, really need your help. I really need your support. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because that'll help me enormously. All right. If you have any questions, comment down below in the comments section, whatever. Um, and I'll just answer your questions. All right. Trick number one. Now this trick is very, very cool. And I'm pretty sure that most of you don't know about. Um, so I need you to follow along with me uh, very carefully because it can get a little tricky. So um, because it is a trick, it can get a little tricky. All right. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create an input. The type of the input is going to be a checkbox. And I'll delete this whole crap because I don't need it. I'm also going to give it a class. So I'll put I'll put a button right here because it will it will it will be it will work pretty similarly to a to a button. Now under the input, I will put a I will create a div, give it a class of um, let me see, I'm gonna give it a class of a div. I don't know, I can't come up with something cool. You can you can put whatever you want right there, right? So inside of the div, I will put a text. So I'll do I will change my background color. All right. Got a typo there, but I don't really care. Okay, so here we got our checkbox right here that we've created. And this is the second div that we named it a div. This very crazy name. Now, I will give a, a background to this div right here that we have named div. So div background color to I'll do red just to visualize it. All right. So there you go. We got it. We got our background red. Now here is the trick. This is the most important part of the trick. This whole thing is just additional just to make you um, able to understand what we're going to do. So here's the trick. So the first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll target the inputs, the checkbox that we have created and we gave it a class, a button, if you remember that. So I'll do um, button and when it is when it is checked, when it is checked, okay, when the button is checked, well, well, when the checkbox is checked, um, I will put this 
symbol right here, and that stands for when this button is checked, that will happen. Okay, it's you'll understand. So div. I'll explain. So when the button is checked, I want you to apply the uh, the following styling to the div, right? And and inside of this uh, the curly brackets here are the following um, styles. So simply background color. I'll change it to yellow. And what that means is that when the button or when the checkbox that we have created is checked, uh, I want you to apply this styling to the div, which is this one. Now I will save, hit refresh. Now when I click on the check, seriously, memes in the middle of a programming lesson? That's very cool because we don't how you don't have to use JavaScript for that because you, normally you would use JavaScript and you put events and all. But this is make it really really simple. Just click on the 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 checkbox and it will change the color. It will apply whatever you put inside of those brackets right here. So you can you can literally just do whatever you want right inside the brackets. Trick number two. If we were to go on Google and search up for cool landing pages, Google is going to come up with some very cool landing pages. And one of them is this beautiful landing page. And what's cool about this landing page is that it has this very smooth uh, bottom, this wavy bottom, right? It has like waves. And that's what we're going to be building in this trick. That trick is going to show us how to build this very cool thing. But if you look at it, it's not actually a real trick. It just it's worth learning. All right, so the way I'm going to be building this is by is by putting an image that I'm going to show you in a minute, putting it in the bottom of a section. So imagine with me, this uh, this is a section, and in the bottom of the section is it, I'm going to put I'm going to put a an SVG or an image, right? And that image is right here. So this is the image. I'm going to be putting it in the bottom of a section. If that sounds a little confusing or something, you're going to be able to understand that really easily. Okay, I'm going to put the download link of this SVG in the in the description of the video, so you can actually download it and customize it to your needs because you will probably need to uh, change the color. It's pretty easy to change the color. Just uh, go to Adobe Illustrator or I will show you in the end of uh, in the end of this video how to do it using a an online an online website. So without further ado, let's go to our HTML. So we have nothing here in our in our HTML. Um, the first thing I'll do is create a section. Um, actually, a couple of sections. There are three. Giving them an ID, calling them section one. Inside of these inside of the section, I'm going to put uh, an H1 saying I am section one. Simple as that. And I will copy paste this three times and section two, section three, section, uh, section two, and finally section three. All right. Okay. We got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Okay. Um, so now I'm here in the, in the CSS. First thing I'll do, I'm sorry about that, guys. You need to wait for me to get rid of the margin and the padding margin. Oh, sh what the hell is wrong with me? Padding. So I will target the section one. And um, I will give it a height of 100 view heights. I'm also going to give it a background of, um, I don't know, gray, gray. Okay. And I'll just copy paste this twice. So just like this. And in the section two, section three. The height is going to be the same. It's going to be 100 view height, but the background, I'll change it to white. And the last section, the third section, same for the heights, 100 view port heights. And the background, it's actually going to be a hexadecimal value, right? And that value, 
I'm gonna take it from from the color from the color of the SVG that I have right here. So that's why I'm here on um, Photoshop, and I'm using this color picker right here. If you can notice the mouse, that picks up the color, and it just gives you the hexadecimal. I'll go here and put it right about here. And by now, if we go here and refresh, we get the first section, gray, second white, and the third section. I think it's it's a it's more of a blue, like a dark blue mixed with gray. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool one. Whoops. Uh, now, what's the next move? The next move is that I'm going to put this wave right here, this um, image. I'm going to place it in the bottom of section two. So right here. And that is by positioning this uh, section two. I'll position it relative and then I'll position this SVG um, absolute so that it kind of like uh, get positioned relatively to uh, the section two. And I will just set the bottom to be zero and it will just stick here in the bottom of this one and it will kind of like look like it's part of the, the third section. Okay, now I'm going to go to Mr. Section 2 and I will ask him, please position yourself relatively uh, so. And the right here, I'll put an image inside of the Section 2. I'll put an image, delete the alt. The source, wait, I'll have to place this in the folder and I'll just put wave SVG, okay? And refresh. Now it's right here. It's in the section two. Now I want it to stick in the bottom of this uh, section two, so I'll have to go to the CSS and I'll write image. Actually, I'll just be more specific and do section two, section two. Oh, shoot. We got a typo right there. Section two, and then I will position the image absolute and the bottom is going to be zero left. It's also going to be zero and the right. The right is going to be zero, so that it kind of stretches the image no matter what size it has. <clears throat> so, if we hit refresh, there you go. It got positioned right here. It's, it looks so much like it's part of the third section, but it's actually not. It's um, part of the second section. Now, we got a problem right here. You can see that horizontal scroll in the bottom. That freaking, that's really annoying, right? That's really freaking annoying. Now, luckily, we have made a video. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, we have made a video on how to get rid of this scroll. It's very freaking simple. So you go here, do um, overflow X, and set it to hidden, and that's it. We got our very cool wavy um, top. That's not a bottom, it's a top. So if you want to change the color of the SVG that I showed you recently, what you have to do is come here to uh, this website, Vectezy, uh, Vectezy.com. I'm going to leave the link of this down below in the description. And simply you go to File and then Import SVG. And here you uh, select your SVG. And we have got it right here. This is the SVG that we want, right? Then you're going to have to come here to Select and change the uh, the color to whatever color that you want. Here you can put the hexadecimal code and yeah, just like this. All right, that's the end of the video, guys. But those are not all the tricks yet. I just figured that the video is getting pretty long already, so I just wanted to cut it and um, make it into a series. So this is part one, and the next videos are going to be uh, part two, probably part three, I don't know. And as I told you before, guys, this is my first video on YouTube. So please, please support me with a sub. Like the video if you liked it. And um, comment if you have any questions.